In this lesson, I want to show you how to create and manage your stores on the front end of the website. So when you click on this vendors link here that we created before for the menu, it says please log into the site. You can create an additional link where vendors can be able to log in so that once they click on this, they are going to see this. Or you can set this so that only vendors are able to see where it says vendors after they log in. But we're going to take a look at that later. For now, let's log in and create a store. So what I'm going to temporarily do is I'm going to change this home menu into a login. So when I go to the back end here, go to menus and I click on the main menu, I'm just going to change the home menu so that someone can be able to log in so we can get access to the back end. So you click on the menu and you click on the menu item type and you click on select and you scroll down, you click on users and you click on login form and then you click save and close. So we're going to log in here. And then once you log in, you want to click on the vendors, the link. So this is the back end of, of this, you know, the, the back end front end for the vendors. This is what their dashboard is going to look like. But only the vendors are going to be able to see this here. The shoppers would not have access to this. So we're going to the setup here. This part here, this is the part that only you as the admin, you're able to see this. The vendors will not have access to this setup here. The zone tax rate profile, this is something that's exclusively just for the store owner, the site owner. So you go over to where it says stores, my stores. And then from here, you see the uh, current stores that you have. So if you click on this here, so when you're here over on the My Store section, there's usually another place where you can be able to add new stores. But since on the back end, this is set to one, that means that the limit for everyone, including the store owner, can only create one store. So I'm going to change this to two. And then we're going to refresh the home page here and see if there are any changes. So once you change that number from one to two, you get this additional button here where it says new. So you click on new. This is going to allow you to create multiple stores. But if you have this number here at just one, that means that as the store owner and the vendors, they can only create one store. So once you've changed that to two, then this is where you can create another store. And then for the vanity URL, we're just going to put in electronics. That is going to be a unique link that links directly to your store. You can put in a description and then you can put in the company's name. And then you want to put the email address here and you want to put in the physical address as well. And the contact number. And then if you have a logo that you want to put, you click on browse and you can get it directly from there. And this is the payment mode. Right now you have PayPal and you have other. So we're going to look at it PayPal and you want to make sure that you put in your PayPal email address here. So the vendors are going to have to put in their PayPal email address right there so that they can get, you know, they can commit, collect their commission. And once you have all your information and you're, you know, you're fine with it, you just want to click on save and close. This is going to add another store. So now there are two stores instead of just one store. So as you can see here, this is your URL. So you can give people this directly if they want to shop on your store. You can give them this instead of having to come on the website and then browsing to find your store. So this is another great way for someone that, you know, you want to share your store with other people, but you want them to come just to your products all the products that you're selling, you just copy this here and you give it to them. And once they come here, then they are going to see all the items that you are selling. So once you're done with that, you go back to manage my stores. Now, if you know here, once you go back to the manage my stores, you don't have the add new store. So you're not able to create a new store um, because you've created the maximum number of stores that is allowed in the system. So let me just open up a new browser here and I'm just going to copy and paste that URL. So when you, when you give someone that, this is where it's going to take them. 
is going to have your company's name, the address, the phone number, the contact information, and the logo and any products that you have. Since I haven't added new products, there's nothing to show now. And then you can go back to store, manage my stores from this section here. So that's how you create the store on the front end. It's very simple. That's how your vendors, you know, create a store on the front end and they can be able to create, you know, as much as many stores as you give them access to.